first impression was just that he was very wary of everything. He was very timid and scared. Okay, baby. We drove about 11 hours home that day with him. I sat in the back seat and he snuggled up and he slept the entire way home. We're home. I knew we were gonna have to be super patient. We're not only just rescuing a dog, we're rescuing a dog from a traumatic background. He was born into a testing facility. You can kind of learn quickly how they were treated, just how you approach them, and even just walking into a room, like how that was going to scare him. Physical contact has been very important for him. It's helped him gain that trust with us. Especially me, he's a mama's boy. If I'm not sitting with him or holding him, he comes over and he does this for me to pick him up. And like, how do I resist? So then as you guys started building up that trust, what were some breakthroughs or milestones you can think of? The little things, the everyday things I think with dogs that you take for granted. Seeing him run. Come here, Ritz. You know, seeing him play with a toy for the first time. And one of the biggest ones I would say for sure was when we first heard his bark. <coughs> <coughs> So now he hasn't really stopped. Go out? You do? And then speaking of milestones, I hear you guys made it official. Congrats. Yeah, we officially signed papers. So Reggie is officially ours. So we had a little party where we officially took off his Beagle Freedom collar and got him his collar with his little tag. And then we had a little dog cake made. For you? And had a party with his sisters. You sit. It's kind of a sweet little moment that we had to commemorate that he's officially part of the family.